Today is the 17th of January and this means that in 5 days Samsung will unveil the new Galaxy lineup, the S25 series on the Galaxy Impact event. And this means that I will have to buy the S25 Ultra and then take my S24 Ultra and get all my data from the S24 Ultra, let's pretend that's it, to the S25 Ultra. In fact, this is the S24 Ultra and that's the S23 Ultra. And I need to make a very hard decision, guys. I cannot afford and I don't even want to have three Samsung Galaxy Ultra phones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy the S25 Ultra Put it next to the S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra and then some of this really will have to leave the building. My hunch feeling is that I'll probably just get rid of the S24 Ultra because the S23 Ultra is already such a classic. But guys, those are half a terabyte phones and in today's video I'm gonna use Dr. Phone software to see how I can optimize my transition between let's pretend this is the S24 Ultra to let's pretend this is the S25 Ultra. Not only this, but I'm also going to check what we can do with Dr. Phone. Backups, resource, managing of the phones, unlocking the screen. Yeah, let's dive deep and see what this software can do. All right, guys, this is Dr. Phone Wondershare. So you just go on that website, you can download it, install it and try it for free. I started Dr. Phone on my PC and the moment I connected the phone, you can see authorization on devices required. So on your phone, you're going to get this displayed, allow USB debugging. You need to turn this on. And if you don't have this functionality, guys, you need to go inside developers option and enable this. This is very easy. Search developers options and enable USB debugging. Then Dr. Phone will install the phone link on your phone so yeah you will have access to your phone now let's see what do we have here guys so the first things i'm gonna go and make sure to check is the toolbox so we have screen unlock system repair whatsapp transfer data recovery virtual location gps change for ios and android data eraser phone transfer something i would like to test and of course also password manager i can also click to my device and i can confirm that this is indeed my device and the moment i click there I'm going to get my S24 Ultra. And yeah, my device is in good condition. Let's click the device details here. I'm just eager to see what information we're gonna get. Oh yeah, the model name, the Android version. By the way, Dr. Phone already knows that I'm using Android 15 because I am running on the One UI 7 Beta 3. You can see the RAM, the serial number, the charging information, the temperature. I like the fact that I'm able to check the hard disk capacity so I can see how much system apps, photos, media and others I have, how much actually free as well. And I can also click on this button. Let's see. Clicking on this button, please connect your phone. Yeah, I'm checking it's still connected. Data erase. Oh, I can now permanently erase everything on the phone. And probably that's a good thing for you to do if you want to just uh, sell this phone to somebody else. Now I will not go and do this. All right, now let's just check the apps section. Again, I'm a type of person, so many apps on my phone, and there are apps that allow you to manually uninstall them, but it's still clicking you on the phone, and it's really not so easy. Now, can I sort by app size? Yeah, I can, this is kind of nice. So, we do have enter to benchmark expert row. I have the app version, this is kind of cool. Right, let's try to select the enter to 3D benchmark and the expert row, and let's just uninstall them. Okay, I'm just gonna hit yes here. Well, as simple as that, by the way, this was nice. And there is also something called export. Can I use this to export APKs? Oh, I can. So apparently with Dr. Phone, you're also able to dump installed APKs on your phone. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna go back to here and see. All right, photos, what can we do with photos? All my photos are displayed here. And as you can check, yeah, it's true. I have more than 10,000 photos. Oh, that's crazy, guys. And why is this cool? Because if you're migrating from one Samsung phone to another, there's something by Samsung called the Smart Switch, but it's very limited in terms of functionality. Here, right, I can just mass select photos if I want, right? And what can I do? I can delete them, export them to PC. All right, let's select a few photos here. This is, by the way, brand new from yesterday. So I've selected a few of them and I'm going to click here to PC. I created a folder on my desktop, S24 Ultra Photos, and yeah, open folder. Everything here, guys. Yeah, this, this is cool. If you need to just back up your gallery, usually what I will do is just go and copy the whole DCIM folder, but with 10,000 items, you can understand this is a bit tough. And also, something that is good here, guys, we can browse by month, 
all right this is cool or let's say also by day or by year so i can probably just go here and yep see 2024 all right it's going to take some time to refresh it uh, eventually this is a very good way for you to not only organize your gallery maintain it and again when you're switching from a new phone you want to keep some of these memories and you don't have this in google photos this is something that you can use oh let's say file browser so i guess from here should be able to pretty much go and do the same things let's just go export again all right let's click s24 ultra photos open the folder all right let's see this is probably used by me in another video <laughs> yeah absolutely so a full working browser that allows you to also manage your storage this is good but we have also videos here so if you just want to pay attention to the video specifically you can do this as well and this could be important in my case i think i have like 200 gigabytes of videos can we sort them by size yeah actually we can let's click on whatsapp guys because there is something very important this can back up your whatsapp data i've generated the key on my phone and now i'm gonna press scan let's see what the tool will say this key is very important guys because if you generate and lose this key that's it guys it's game over so i'm just gonna do a screenshot to make sure i have it so now that i saved my key i'm just gonna press continue and i'm gonna press that i saved and I'm going to create the backup. And guys, now the backup is being done on the phone with the 64 digit protection. All right, now let's press next and see. Check the, oh yeah. <laughs> Everything's really backed up, guys. This is, this is kind of cool because now what I can do, I can export this to CSV or Excel and then hopefully in the new phone, boom, put it up. So this is kind of nice. Now let's check the backup options. If I click backup device, all right, this is the standard set of backup things like it will backup your contact messages the calendar history wallpaper music so forth and so forth and the backup is going to be saved here uh, if i click on backup preferences i can change apparently the folder location on my pc in order for dr phone to be able to backup your sms messages we have to go back on the phone there's going to be a menu and we need to select the dr phone link i'm going to set it as default and i'm going to press ok uh, just to see if this backup is going to work please do not disconnect the device. But remember, since I have 10,000 pics and videos, guys, I'm going to remove the photos and the videos from the backup and as well also the applications just to see if the backup will work at all. So music's backed up, my contacts are backed up. Okay, yeah, <laughs> they want, of course, a nice rating. Wallpaper, call history. Now, what happens if I click on view backups? Oh yeah, call history, everything should be there, but yep. This is indeed my whole history, guys. What about the wall? Yep, my wallpapers are here. My contacts are here. Even stuff from the calendar is here. And of course, also the music. This is good. This means that when the S25 Ultra arrives, guys, I can just hook it up and restore it, which is not that bad at all. Remember, Smart Switch is so limited and you can really do a handful of things with Smart Switch. This thing here seems to be quite powerful. Now let's check something else that I believe is kind of cool. There is something called the AI wallpaper. And we already know that we can do this directly on our phone, but we can apparently do this also here with uh, the tool directly. And it's kind of cool. So let's click on sci-fi and let's put a prompt here. So red robot on the roof of a sky scraper post-apocalypse okay now let's hit the generate button oh wow uh, <laughs> yeah it is actually it's quite quite close all right so let's say that we kind of like this one here i'm just going to hit the link here and i can also set as a phone wallpaper and now check the phone right so it's, it's kind of weird to use a tool on your pc to just mess up with your wallpapers but why not i mean it's there and it works and it works quite nicely like wallpaper is now applied and by the way you have also the history you can choose the image dimension qhd 2k the number of outputs there are advanced settings like the sampling method if that's your thing then you can really have some nice and fun time with this and now guys i have plugged in my samsung s23 ultra why well because it runs still android 14 and this is the last stable one ui for now it's the one ui 6.1 it's actually 6.1.1 with all the ai's nice features why did i do so well because i want to demonstrate the screen mirror because once this thing starts 
yeah, you're gonna see it has some quite nice features. First things first, we can use our mouse on the PC to command uh, anything on the phone. And you can see it works very, very good. So I can open the gallery from here. I know all the button works, I guess. I can just use also my mouse for gestures. Can I go and check my notifications? Yep, I can, just like this, I can clear all my notifications. And everything that uh, you see on the screen actually really happens on the phone. I can go on the Play Store and just select icons, install software. So it's uh, also a very nice thing to have. There are other things as well, right? I can shut it down. I can apparently take a screenshot and it's going to create a screenshot of what I'm seeing on the screen directly on your PC, not on the phone, by the way. You can also try to record a video. And again, this video is now recorded only on the PC, guys. It's not recorded on the screenshot. You can see I can open the camera here. Let's see if this is going to get recorded. All right, now let's just exit back to my home menu. I'm gonna close everything. I'm gonna stop the video. And where is my file, guys? Yeah, it should be here. And I'm gonna open the recording and see if also, my camera is going to open, and from what I see, I hope it's going to work. I think, yeah, you see? So even screen recording directly on your PC using your phone is an option with Dr. Phone, if that's your thing. Now I'm going to press and mirroring, guys. And the other thing I wanted to show is actually quite nice. If I go to the toolbox, you're going to see there is something called screen unlock. And with screen unlock, I'm able to get back to the phone in case I don't remember my pin code or lost something. And here, guys, we have two options. We have 100% remove screen lock, okay? And yeah, then of course you're gonna suffer data loss or you can remove without data loss, but then only some older models are supported. When I click on this thing here, guys, Dr. Phone will guide you through the menu of entering the recovery mode. And not only this, but from there, explain you what to do to make sure that you do a factory reset and wipe all the data and then reboot the system and then hopefully you can use the phone again. And this is kind of cool because they support this for Samsung but all these other brands here. So let's check for example what happens with the Xiaomi. And yes, we're gonna get the same explanation on how to do this on a Xiaomi phone. So honestly guys, this is a very useful software if you are a type of person to want full control of your phone, to manage your data, your calls, your videos, your photos. Also have access to some system tools like the Unlock, but also, you know, mirroring the screen. Why not also generating AI wallpapers, change your GPS location. And there is plenty of other stuff as well. If you want to try it out, just go to the Dr. Phones Wondershare website, guys. Download it, test it for free, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. Remember, in a few days, the Galaxy Impact event is here. Hopefully, I'm going to get my hands on the S25 Ultra, and I can't really wait to test it. Stay safe. VST over and bye.